Welcome back to Let's Play Disgaea 5. My name is Karsten. I did a couple minor color tweaks on some of my generics, which you'll probably see as we play. So let's get on to the story. surprised a muscle head could have emotional sensitivities. Why would you say something that'll only pour more fuel on the fire? Because I'm a demon, as well as a temptress. <laughs> Ooh, Salia is cheering you on, Flip. If you hit rock bottom, then the only direction to go is up. Let's change your mindset. That's right, old man Magnus. Feeling down doesn't suit you. I'm heading out now, Red Magnus. While you're stuck here, staring at the ground, Void Dark is absorbing Scorching Flame's energy. Whether you're coming with me or not, I'm gonna free this Netherworld from his clutches. If Bro's leading the way, that means you have to follow him, right? Old man, I know you understand, no matter how insensitive you are. <laughs> Red Magnus knows what you're doing, you meddlesome jabronis! Alright, so we still have that fire powder effect. Yeah, we got some more of these guys. Wait, was it? Goes on yellow, and he's yellow. Now, that reduces fire resistance. So if I actually do get my casters up here, that'll be useful. Let's go! Let's, uh,. Start with him. Great, great. Let's go ahead and do that. That'll almost kill him. And bring out. Now, was that. Yeah, it's Flame Slash. So that should kill them, right? Probably should have buffed her. Won't kill if it misses. Alright, well, let's bring her out. So I tweaked her colors to be a little bit better there. And we'll give you a heal. Will afternoon tea work from this height? Yes. We definitely want to do that. Let's bring Grace up here. And have we seen Terrifier? Don't know if we've seen Terrifier. We'll find out in a moment. Need you up here. We actually... Duh. Bring out Ami. She only has Star. But that'll be enough to kill him. And... Alright, let's go with that. Right there. Right 
that blue skin was kind of annoying me on the maid. Yeah, I don't think we'd seen that one yet. Okay, now you... You'll have to be here to hit them with Vacuum Slice, won't you? Yes, you will. Who else will we bring out? Let's bring you out. If you're here, can you hit them with anything? Like that. Yeah, it doesn't do a lot, but it'll build up a combo. Bring out three more. Leave it to me. Sit up, sit up, Let's go ahead and bring him out. Have him charge up. Bring out Holly. And have her prepare for a counterattack. Because I don't think... Well, I don't know that'll hit one of them. One more. Mm. Who should we bring out? Yeah, we'll bring out her because I think she's. Oh, she's in revenge. Hmm. Yeah, that's just going to flat-out kill him. So we're going to do Vacuum Slice first. And then you go ahead and kill any leftovers. Actually, how much the range on Squad Attack? Not far enough. But... Throw you there. Then you can squat attack. And then you'll overload after that. Forgot she was there. That's okay. She'll be fine. Or that just kills them all. Probably won't get any of them. It's reasonably sure it won't get any of them. But we'll just end the turn here. She's got a few turns left to continue to abuse that. Oh, you're going to come around this way. Please do not kill them. Uh -huh. Alright, so we have a few people that are in need of some healing, including the healer. Let me rest. You know you can't get over there. You'll just continue to mess them up. You get up here. Oh! There's already someone there. You get over here. And... Can you heal all of them? Actually, let's do it this way. We'll do it in the middle of a combo. So you come over here, hmm. OK, 
come over here. Attack. Actually, first you do... What is their resistance? Weak to wind. All right. That is ice. But what we want is that. So if we do that, will that hit? Yes, it will. So what we will do is then have him attack. Throw the Giga Heal on everyone. Have you do star there? Then have you do wind there? Here we to ice. That won't reach. No way that'll... Well, if we do that, that'll reach. Let me just go ahead and keep coming over here. And do that. You go ahead and start working your way over here as well. And charge up. Let's see what we get from this. Have I seen this one? Yeah, I've seen this one. Because it has XP's in it. Yeah, it's this one. Okay. still move, so keep moving up there. You haven't done anything yet. So you'll move over there. And... I don't know, create a box just... just for the heck of it. Um, just work on leveling that skill or something. Uh, you... Go over here and afternoon tea, Kilia. Right so he can work on getting back over there. Two turns left on revenge for him. Same with her, right? Yeah, so next turn is... I have to try to murder everything with as much revenge as possible with all those guys. Okay. End the turn. Alright, so... How far can you get up there? Ah, ah. 
Yeah, that can't quite reach. Oh, you can move, right, duh. I'll probably just murder them outright. Yep, it will. Uh, you guys just uh, keep moving up, I guess. You're going to take his axe. You can't move very far. You can move over there. Angles of this are not the best. So if you're there, you can squad attack. What will that? Ooh, that'll hit a bunch of people. So I'll have her hold off on that until I see what the ends of the squad attack are. And you guys just keep moving. Why are you wielding a bow? There you go. So you can't do anything useful, can you? No. You, of course, can't. Um, Actually, you know what? Yeah, that's as far up as you can go. Uh, yeah, go ahead and just shield there, I guess. And you do your... Oh, heck, you can work on leveling that on the box. In fact, so can you. Alright, let's see where that leaves us. Especially, Ooh, that was effective. Now, if we do this, we might get a couple. Got two of them, all right. You move up here and you can't do anything else because everyone's way out of range. So, just defend. You go ahead and work on leveling up energy potion, and you work on leveling up afternoon tea, and then she can move again. And that's going to be all we can do on here, so we'll end the turn. Get over here. Uh, let's see. Okay, Holly, move up. Eric. Toss Kilia. Over here. 
And he can Hellfire Shot Husband. And we'll just have those two guys. It's a bit of cleanup, which Kilia will probably just end up taking complete control of on its own. Really not much point in doing much else. I don't know, I guess we're kind of leveling up shield. And... In fact, just for the heck of it, shield. Now that doesn't really do anything. Um... I mean, yeah, I think that attacking allies, even if, if it doesn't really do anything, no reason to. Uh, I don't think, I don't know if you get XP's and stuff for doing wrong skills. Yeah, you probably do. Still, no. But we'll afternoon tea her just to work on that. You continue to work on energy potion. Any place you go except there would hurt, so we'll just move you there. You just create a box or something, I don't know. And... Yeah, we'll go with that. Actually. Keep working on learning that. he still got skill ups out of that. I wasn't paying too much attention to what she had before, but yeah, I think she had 10 before, so now she has 20. So, yeah, every bit helps. Hmm. Come on, you guys. Don't make this take forever. just do that again just for something to do Oh, you split up. You're making me actually do stuff. All right. She's going to come over here, and do you have any specific... You're weak to wind, so... That's going to not kill you, really? Well, he's gonna die. And we'll just have Metallia finish him off, I guess. Unless there's a counter involved. Wow, really? Okay, we won't have Metallia finish him off. I would have done it if they had, uh, if it was just going to finish it off on that turn, but it's not. So we'll end the turn here, finish things on the next turn. Oh, well, she finished it. 
And Kilia, punch him in the face, or the back, or the side. So I'm punch him in the side, and maybe Holly will get over here and get get in on him. What's going on there? Okay. Uh, just for the hell of it. Have her go over there as well. May as well get XPs on more characters if I can. Staff of Logic, that sounds interesting. Bunch of XPs for everyone that was out. Another one of those feather tokens, those were kinda kinda nice, at least when I remember getting them from the Atom Worlds. May have outleveled their usefulness now, but we'll see. You okay? Oh, Grace got up there. What's wrong? Ever since you talked to Red Magnus, he's been thinking. Who exactly are you angry at? Your underlings for betraying you? I know I'm dumb, but I took a lot of time and thought about why I'm so angry. I super thought about it till smoke started coming out of my ears, but I still couldn't figure it out. I can only figure that this anger is coming from the fact that those guys betrayed me! Is that really the reason? What do you mean? In the Netherworld, betrayal and overthrowings are commonplace. That stuff has always happened. Well, yeah! I've been betrayed a whole bunch of times! And every time I've punished them for it! So what's got you this time? Haven't you punished your former underlings so many times before? Red Magnus, like me, you're missing heart. Heart? You're very similar to the old me. The old bro was just like Red Magnus? What is he talking about? What are you talking about, Clip? I can't believe any ridiculous story that claims Sir Kilia and this musclehead were ever similar. Believe it or not, it's up to you. Kilia, could you help me a little? What are you trying to do? Huh? I don't feel a single bit of magical power coming from you. I don't want someone like that using me. The weak obey the strong. That's how the netherworlds work. If you can't understand that, then do you want me to give you a demonstration? It's true. I hardly have any powers. Compared to my father and brother, I don't have any skills. But Kilia, who is going to make the dinner you're going to eat tonight? Who washes the clothes you wear? Who cleans the house you live in every day? What? Aren't we family? Family helps and supports one another to live out their lives. We cover each other in the areas that the other lacks so that we can enjoy our lives and we deepen our bonds. How foolish. It's only common sense that weak serve the strong. It isn't a bond, it's subordination. You're wrong, Kilia. I don't serve you because I'm weak. It's not even serving at all. We help each other of our own free will. Thinking of others and the love of helping them creates a bond. Love? You're a demon. Are you serious? That's just nonsense propagated by the weak. Power is everything. Might makes right. If you don't take it, someone else will. Betray or be betrayed. That line of thinking is very sad. You must have been through a lot. I'm sorry that I don't understand you. Hey, what are you? How is it? Are my hands warm? Kilia, your hands are warm. Do you know why? Because you're alive. Because you're alive, your hands are warm. It's the same way with your heart. A cold heart. A loveless heart. That's equivalent to death. You're just playing word games. If I landed a punch on you right now, you would definitely die. 
Would all that garbage about love and heart protect you from that? Kilia. Red Magnus, I still haven't found the answer to the problem I've been carrying around with me. So I can't tell you what to do. But I want to help as many people who are suffering because of Void Dark as I can. This isn't coming from the side of me that wants revenge. I don't have an answer yet. I could be wrong. But I want to listen to what my heart desires. What will you do? Red Magnus, face your heart. I... I... What... what are you doing, Sarah? I figured I'd take the honor of getting rid of the one person you couldn't forgive, because your indecisiveness was annoying me. What? If you're trying to get rid of the person I can't forgive, why'd you shoot me? Who is the person that you can't forgive? Place your hand over your heart and think, Musclehead. <sighs> I see. So that's what you mean. Thanks, Sarah. Now I finally know what was bothering me. Did you thank me? I never imagined a monkey brain Musclehead would ever show any gratitude. Sorry for all the trouble, guys. Let's go finish this. It's time to... Put an end to those guys, and to my weak heart. Lisa has a tail! I didn't know that! I guess it makes sense considering how her father looked, but still! Alright, let's heal up. Let's fix you up. I want to see if we can get this chapter done. So... Actually, before we do that, just in case, I'm going to save. Just in case something goes weird. Or something, I don't know. Anyway, we're going to save. Now, let's go straight on Where would you like to go, dude? and see if we can get this chapter taken care of in this episode. Scorching Heart. That's the magical spear. It looks heinous. A chill runs down my spine just thinking about how it's sucking up energy. Hmm? Aren't those guys over there Ponchos and the others? Yeah, hold on one second, Captain of the Lost Brigade. Uh, no one told us that we'd have to do this on our own. Aren't you guys gonna fight with us? You're the ones who volunteered to eliminate the rebel army yourselves, right? Y yes, we did, but... Then proceed. Retreating will not be allowed. You have only two options. Win and live, or lose and die. But we're up against overlords. To be honest, our strength can't match up against theirs. Purposely avoiding combat is punishable by death. That is your third option. Give up. Whatever choice you make, you will eventually be absorbed. How cruel! You guys were planning on sacrificing us from the beginning. Looks like they're arguing. Is this an example of internal strife, Flip? No. The Lost don't consider anyone else to be an ally. They only use others. Most likely, that Poncho's guy probably just found out that they were being used and the Lost have betrayed them. Red Magnus. Kilia, sorry, but can you give me some time to talk to them? Do whatever you want. This is your fight. <sighs> Sorry for the trouble. Thanks. Did Red Magnus just apologize? And he saved Kilia too, Blip. That monkey finally learned some manners. Is it a sign of some extraordinary supernatural phenomenon? No, it must be the result of his daily training. 
Yes, that must be it. <laughs> hey, Ponchos. You look like you're about to cry. What happened? You look pretty pathetic. Shut up. It's your fault that I'm in this situation. Yeah, that's true. You're right. Like you said, it's all my fault. Huh? What are you saying? Ponchos, listen. The Supreme One finally understands why he was so angry this whole time. The Supreme One... No. I... I was angry at myself. For not being able to save Scorching Flame. For sleeping through the battle. For not protecting my underlings. Me. Me. Me! Yes, I couldn't forgive myself. Why didn't I notice that earlier? No, I didn't even try to realize it. It's because I'm pathetic, and my heart is weak. What? Are you really Red Magnus? I'm a guy with a weak heart! Ponchos, I only noticed that because of you guys. Because you guys are still alive. Everyone, I'm sorry. Because of my weak heart, I caused a lot of trouble for all of you. But please believe in me one last time. I'll protect you guys with every fiber of my being! Power. No, I'm feeling even more power than usual. The growth in Red Magnus's heart has awoken a hidden power within him. This is a miracle. <laughs> Great job, old man Magnus. What are you doing just standing around there? If an ordinary muscle head just became a slightly better muscle head, then show us. Yeah! Leave it to me! Let's go, you lost jabronis! If you even lay a single hand on Ponchos or the others, I'll burn you guys to ash with my super flames! Too bad I never used Red Magnus. Okay. Yeah, I don't think these have any... Oh, I didn't realize that... That... Hmm. Oh, there's a bunch of those guys. That's going to be really annoying. Because there's... Five of them. And they're all in different squads, it looks like. Now... I'm not going to use him because he's like level 6, because I never use him. But I want to see what that... Become a super giant for 3 turns and increase stats by 50%. Hmm. Looks like he's in revenge mode. I wonder if that's a plot thing. But with level 6, ain't going to be useful. All right, so we'll just uh, try straight ahead. Let's go. Actually, we will charge up to there. Let's have fun. And let's see, Salia. And let's see, Kitty. We need a 
Alicia and Phoebe and who else? Metalia and Grace. Alright, so what we need to do... We're gonna do Braveheart them first. gonna do we're gonna do two shields we're going to shield them then afternoon tea you're going to active despair muscle charge defend And then we're going to do another shield in a sec. And there we will have that shield. Leave it to me. My strategy worked. Oh, you're going to manage change, huh? Oh, you're gonna... Okay, then. Like this? Oh, you're... Oh, is that paralyzed? I don't know. You come over here. Kill him. Are you weak to anything? Fire. You're very weak to fire. Do I have anything that does fire? That does fire. Oh, you are so going to die. I will do it there. Do you have any AoEs? I don't think you have any AoEs. You have that. So if you go there, you, I don't think any of these are, well one of them is wind, but you reach to fire and that's it. So we shouldn't be using It's not going to do a lot. And that would hit Kilia. So we'll use that. Come up here. And you come up here. What do you have? I will snag that. It's mine, meow. It's mine, meow. You come over here. Braveheart him before he does that. Now you go ahead and do that. You come up here.
Not as weak to it, but let's see. That's going to do just a piddly little amount of damage. How about that? Uh, that's going to be even piddlier. So we'll do that. Then you will Anaconda Impact. Now you come up here, and you up here, and we'll see how things go before we decide what to do about healing, or whatever. That didn't kill him. For some reason I was thinking that would kill him. Gained a common ability slot and killed both of those without these guys having to do anything. So... You attack him. Actually, you come over here. If you're there, you can hit him. Then you hit there, and I think that'll take care of them. Not quite. Okay, well... Uh, let's see, who can you do anything to... Hmm... You can't really... You could go there... Oh! I forgot to bring... Oh well, I wanted to bring up my, uh... I mean, my Sage. Oh well. They'll have plenty of times to level up later. Uh, can you just take care of him anyway? Uh, not with attack, of course, but with this. That won't really do much of anything. Guess you'll afternoon tea, Killia. And Killia will finish them off. And that'll be all I can do for this turn, probably. Um... ahead and throw a shield on these guys. Characters are kind of tough at the moment, so... Go up there... Heal them from there... and topped off. And go ahead and Braveheart them as well. Now, with you guys' arrangement, 
I'm gonna have... Trying to figure out the best way to do this. I'll have you come up here, I guess. We're gonna be hitting him a lot as well as much as we can. Come over here. I'll have to do Terrifier that way. And then you will... Yo-Yo Trick. Now you will Triple Strike to move him back. And that will put him in the range of a Hellfire shot there. All right, we'll hold off on anything else until we're sure of the results of this. Although, let's be honest, I'm going to afternoon T kill you. She steal nothing. She's gonna try to steal. What if I use an item? It's probably the same thing. Uh, yeah, still zero percent. Hold off on those two. We'll have her go ahead and do that just to have one more attack in there. I know it only shows 31% accuracy, but moving doesn't care about that kind of thing. Alright, let's do that. Oh, wait, hang on. We need to move her to the back of the queue again. Almost messed that one up. A lot of these aren't going to do a lot of damage, but they'll build up the combo. Oh, crap. Forgot that I had done it that way. I didn't even think I did it that way. Because of where she was standing. Oh well. Well, I hope the... Getting the good ending doesn't require zero ally kills. That'll take care of two of them and severely hurt the last. Alright, we will go ahead and just... Wait, no. We'll move you here. And you... Up to there. We'll move you here. Because of her ability, we'll provide some defense to these guys. Uh, 
Alright, so you get over there, you three go. You two, you get over there. My strategy worked. Oh, you're hurt too. Okay, we'll have to We'll just do this. We'll not move. Heal. Leave it to me. Gotta love the big area of effect heals. Now, let's have you come over this way. I must remember not to move anyone into that square. Do a magic boost on her. Right, let's have him go first, then you up here. Go ahead and do that. Now, we'll have you first, actually. Followed by Natalia. to do the afternoon tea just in case he dies before Kilius move. So now, Kilia comes over here, does a Hellfire shot, and gets an afternoon tea. And then he'll do another Hellfire shot. And that'll probably finish off that group, or nearly. And he can move over here and be a distraction for these guys. You can also move. In fact, let's do that. SP isn't an issue, why are you still wielding that?
Yeah, looks like that's your best bet there. That one we stole earlier. Okay, so... First things first. You guys get up there. I should rename Alicia to Erd. And... Giga heal them. Oh, we're at an hour. It's going to be a long episode, but oh well. So, what we will do... Actually, that might be a dangerous place. We'll have her there. And a boulder crush. And a hellfire shot. And that actually will probably fill, finish him off. Before you hellfire shot, you go ahead and get a flame slash in. Then you Hellfire Shot. That'll probably finish finish everything anyway. And that was actually pretty cool. They got a revenge, so now I get some shards. Awesome. You okay? Red Magnus, I'm sorry, we... Idiots! I'm the one who should be apologizing. I'm really sorry. I didn't deserve to be called Overlord, let alone the strongest Overlord. Damn it! I'm so embarrassed of my former self! I just want to beat the crap out of him! Are you seriously Red Magnus? I don't know how to explain it. Because of the sudden change, I feel like I'm in a dream. I'm surprised too. <laughs> See you guys. Live long lives. Wait a minute, Master. Uh, please, take us with you. If it's the new you, and all, we'll follow Master Red Magnus, the scorching storm overlord, wherever he goes. Oh. The rebel army just gained more forces. Very well. I'll get the applications. No. You guys aren't capable of handling the combat we're gonna face. I'm sorry, but I can't take you guys with me. But, Master... I have nothing to say to that. But we won't give up. We'll be able to help you one day. <laughs> All right! I'll be counting on you guys when that day comes! Anyway, a power that surpasses an Overlord. It appears there's a very good reason why he held the title of Overlord of Scorching Flame. Red Magnus looks bigger than usual, Clip. Everyone, sorry for worrying you. I'm all right now. I, not the Supreme One or Red Magnus. Yeah, I've graduated from using that stuff. I see. You really have changed, Red Magnus. Now I can't call you a monkey anymore. I suppose I'll just have to be content with calling you Musclehead. Yeah, when it comes to muscles, leave it to me. I'll defeat Void Dark and become the super muscular strongest overlord! Those parts haven't evolved at all, old man. I'm amazed. Are you still trying to become the strongest overlord? 
Yeah, but getting revenge against Void Dark isn't my main reason anymore. I want to rebuild Scorching Flame so that my underlings can have a safe place to be rowdy! And this time, I'll be a real overlord for those guys. A real overlord. I'm sure you can be one now. But there are some things we have to take care of before that. All right! This is the perfect opportunity to show off my super new skill! Overload skill! Super Universe! The time has yet to pass. However, it is starting to run out. Historians agree that at this point in time, there wasn't a single entity that could stand up to Demon Emperor Void Dark. The overlords of Roaring Rampant and Brutal Beast lost one after another, and their once lauded grander netherworlds fell under the control of the Demon Emperor. With no one able to stop the Demon Emperor, despair started spreading throughout the entire netherworlds. It's almost time for the old Netherworld bodybuilding tournament! The favorite, Red Magnus, throws in a couple more sets! But, suddenly an assassin takes my beloved muscles! I have taken your biceps, pectorals, and quadriceps. Now I shall be taking first place! Kia! I look like a shriveled up eggplant! I have no chance of victory! What should Red Magna do? My former friend, Sorokina, has committed a terrible act! But will that snuff out the Supreme One's dream of becoming number one? Next time on Build Act, Episode 10, wake up my muscles! Everyone stay heated and bulk up! To all of our innocent viewers, I apologize for showing you something inappropriate. Those responsible for the next episode sequence have been sacked. Red Magnus has conquered the weakness in his heart and awoken a new power. But what about me? Can I really defeat him like this? What? Why are you becoming so timid? If you want power, there is an easier way. An easier way? Yes. Unleash me. Don't be stubborn. I won't go back to my former self. I don't intend to ever go back. Why not? Don't you want to be strong? Why do you feel the need to hesitate? I can end everything in an instant. I can destroy all of your problems, worries, and everything else. Whatever I get the impulse to do. You. Do you really want to get revenge? Of course. Really. It doesn't look that way to me. You're just angry. You suffered a pathetic loss and had your possession destroyed in front of you. So you grew indignant. And then you made up the convenient excuse of wanting to get revenge for that girl. But don't you actually want to destroy everything? No. I... What? Am I wrong? I can sense your heart hesitating. Be honest. Your true character is that of one who finds satisfaction in destruction. Tyrant Overlord. Nothing more, nothing less. Do yourself a favor. 
Hurry up and unleash me. I'm always ready. Shut up! My, Sir Kilia, did something happen? You got awfully loud all of a sudden. It, it's nothing. Sorry, but I just need to be left alone for a while. Episode 10, The Memorable Special Sweet Curry. Lord Void Dark, we have taken control of Explocution and the lesser surrounding Netherworlds. Now all of the Netherworlds in Explocution sector are under your control. I see. Great job, Margarita. What? What tremendous praise. My only desire is to make your wish of forming a utopia come true. I, Majorita, will do whatever it takes to carry out any orders you give me. That is a great attitude. Yeah, am. Now then, Lord Void Dark. I shall notify Demon General Majorita of her new orders, Zom. Um. Who are you? I apologize for the late introduction. As his 88th secretary, I shall be assisting Lord Void Dark. I am Duke Zombie Zom. I am here on behalf of my predecessor, who was used as a guinea pig for the magical spears, Zom. You already know the rest. This corpse talks a lot. I don't like it. So what are my new orders? One of the magical spears that Lord Void Dark launched throughout the Netherworlds was destroyed by the Rebel Army, Zom. The Rebel Army destroyed one of Lord Void Dark's precious magical spears? Then I'll get rid of them immediate- There is no need for that, Zom. Demon General Bloodus is already resolving that situation. Lady Margarita, you will be in charge of defending one of the remaining magical spears, Zom. Bloodus again. He always snatches the best parts away from me. Are you unsatisfied with something, Zom? Not at all. I follow every order Lord Void Dark gives to me. Lord Void Dark, I will do anything you ask me to, whenever you ask of it, for your utopia. Cheat Shot mi CP minimum became 50. You obtained Netherworld Exterior S Flame Parts. Quest I Want to Fight has been added, and we have some events, all of which will be happening next time. Hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. And I will see you next time.